Is that freeloader, huh? I know you're napping around here somewhere. On your feet and back to work already, yeah? Ah, uh, finally. Come on, sunshine. Up and at him. Get up already! Oh, mm, sorry, what's going on? What's going on? Did your head spring a leak while you were napping? Better see if you can even remember your name. Looks like there's hope for you yet. Apologies, friend. I'm all right. Is the battle at hand? Of course it is. Why else would I be standing here? You heard who we're up against, yeah? Gerald's mercenaries. Gonna be one hell of a fight, if true. Especially if the Ashen Demon is here. Don't like a smidge of what I've heard about that fella. Or was it a woman? Leave it to you to fumble the details. Did you even catch this Ashen Demon's name? Of course I did. It was... I, by the goddess, it's right on the tip of my tongue. That's it. Demon or no demon, our job is to fight and win. <laughs> you sound just like the captain. I know they paid up front, but come on. Well, at least one of you has some courage. You've certainly come a long way since I plucked you from that mountain village. But this battle is about more than just victory. Gerald's team has a sterling reputation. Rumor has it they've never blundered even a single job. But once we put them to rout, we'll finally be the greatest mercenaries in all of Leicester. Enemy activity detected, Captain. Looks like we'll be fighting by moonlight. Mind you don't kill each other in the dark. Wasn't expecting a fight so soon, but I guess there's nothing for it. You ready? Well, I don't know that I... You know what? Never mind. It's gonna be fine, so long as we both watch our backs.
All right, let's get down to business. We're up against Gerald's mercenaries. Let's move out! Drive them straight into their graves! Time to see what you're made of! or something? Guess this means I can mess with them a little. the stronghold over this way, yeah? You get the one over there. Can't wait to wrap this up so we can all drown ourselves in ale. Okay. Master your fear! And get back! Keep your eyes open. We still don't know if the Ashen Demon is here. with some teeth showed up, but they still don't stand a chance against Burling's mercenaries. Now, isn't this a sight? You must be the infamous Ashen Demon. I can't wait to tear you apart. This will be the end of the Ashen Demon. No one can beat the Captain.
was nothing. I can't believe I'm losing to some damn kid. Captain Bowling's in trouble. I have to reach her before it's too late. When my dream was finally in sight, you monster. The, the captain's dead. What are we gonna do now? Down or die. We're gonna stand. We're gonna fight. We're gonna avenge the captain. Why am I so scared? It's just one month. Run! Run while you can! No! This can't be happening! of this world. I will not allow it to perish with you. Did you get that power? Fighting like an entirely different person. That's enough. We 
did what we came to do. Everyone, fall back! What? Sorry, but this fight is over. Hey, wait! Why? We've achieved our goal. Your job was to stop us, and you failed. <sighs> Another time, perhaps. Hey, we're not done here! Why, why am I so tired? Not sure I would have been able to sleep at night with your <laughs> blood on my hands. I know your voice. I dreamed about you. Strange. I have no such recollection. Regardless, I am a being who exists on the edge of dreams and reality. You may call me Arval. Arval, huh? But for now, let me speak plain. You are slated to die. Right now, I'm the only thing holding your meager life together. And to be blunt, it's beginning to tire me. Um, thank you? Oh, oh my, that's the first time anyone has ever shown me gratitude. And I must say, I like it very much. Hear me well, you are a crucial piece of this world, cyclical... Yeah, uh, no, this will never do. You're far too groggy to absorb what I'm saying. For now. I needn't tell you how you'll get back on your feet. I need only convince you that you will. I don't understand. I'm already up and about. Ah, perhaps here you are. But not in reality, where it counts. <laughs> your cluelessness is actually quite charming. I think you're starting to grow on me. Still, the important thing is what you do after you wake. And what should that be? Recall, please, how the Ashen Demon bested you. Came within an inch of snuffing out your life. If you attempt the fight again the same way, you will reach the same conclusion. This would force me to step in once more, which would be most annoying and also rather counterproductive, if I'm honest. Then I'll get stronger. The woman I am now will seem like a little kid in comparison. And one day, I will surpass the Ashen Demon. I swear it. Indeed. My captain and comrades are dead. The company is finished. So there's only one thing I can do. Start over. Huh. I thought you'd be more sentimental. Did they not take you in? Care for you? Gold's the only thing that ever held us together. And death is something we're all too used to. I never knew my real parents, and I lost the mother who raised me. Parting's just come easy to me, I guess. The best way to honor my fallen comrades is by training hard and growing even stronger. Then I'll crush Gerald's mercenaries and the Ashen Demon with them. That's what I'm going to live for now. Oh, but I like your spirit. 
Though I expected no less from my partner in destiny. I'm sorry, what? Yes, I suppose that was a bit sudden. I should remember, take intimacy in smaller steps. The point is that I'm here to guide you, and I promise to help you find the strength to see your dreams realized. Prologue. A chance encounter. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a goddess, has existed for uncountable ages. Now, three ruling powers control the land. To the south is a region held for more than a thousand years by the Adrestian Empire. To the north is the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. And to the east, a league of nobles that bends no knee rules the Leicester Alliance. Though once consumed in war, these three powers now exist in relative harmony. Nestled between them is Garrig Mach Monastery, seat of the Church of Seros, the land's widely practiced faith and a power that helps to maintain peace across the continent. Not far from the monastery, at the northern edge of the empire, is a small village called Ramire, and west of this place stretches a forest where a lone mercenary awaits. Hey, wake up! Ugh, how many times must we do this? Get up already! Huh? That's weird. I could have sworn I heard someone calling me. It's still dark out, though. Hello? Yes, I was calling you. Many times, I might add. Come on, I told you not to sneak up on me like that. As if I have a choice. Do you know how many times you would have died by now if not for me? I'll tell you. 22. The three times you leapt off a cliff to quote unquote get tougher saved you. Those five mad attempts to dispatch a horde of monsters by yourself saved you. And tonight, despite my repeated warnings, you took the wrong path and ended up having to sleep on a bed of leaves in the middle of the woods. All right, this was all my fault, and I'm sorry. Strange. That's exactly what I wanted to hear, yet somehow I'm the one who feels bad now. I must remember this tactic. At any rate, we all make a few mistakes along the way. And by we, I mean you. And by a few, I mean far, far more than average. Now then, with that out of the way, would you like to know why I've roused you from your mud-caked slumber? Actually, it's probably easier to show rather than tell at this point. Look over there, if you would. Hmm? Stop plowing ahead, Claude. You're going to get us lost. Lost, schmast. We've got it on Imperial authority that this is the way to the village. <sighs> True, I said there was a village, but how could anyone know where it is in the thick of these mountains? I can't even say for certain where we are in all this gloom. Okay, new plan. I'll rely on my keen senses to navigate. Lucky for you, they're sharp as an arrow. Hold, both of you. Someone's here. Another bandit, perhaps? 
They're mistaking you for some common backwater thief. What cheek. Well, hold on there. I'm no bandit. I'm a mercenary. Well, that makes everything better. A bandit would be far less out of place in these woods than a sellsword. What brings you here? We've no time for an interrogation. Our pursuers are closing in. I don't know who you people are or what you want, but I think introductions can wait. You clearly need every blade you can find, and my pockets have been feeling awfully light lately. What do you say? Well, since you're here, do you mind stepping in and helping us chase off these scary bandits? Don't worry about payment. You'll receive plenty of coin. If we survive that. Tend to your wounds, Edelgard. And that's how it's done. Don't overstep, Edelgard. My turn has arrived. Anyway, all three of them have crests. What's wrong with you? They're just a bunch of brats. Stop embarrassing yourself and stand your ground already.
Hey, got lucky there. Well, lucky for me, I guess. Not so much for you. Bandits have a firm hold on the central road. It would be wise to move through the forest and take down the strongholds as we go. Try and keep an eye on who we're fighting, and make sure we've got the right person leading the charge at the right time. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform... their defenses enough of this strategy nonsense get out there and tear them all the pieces okay how many thugs does this guy have working for him anyway of Seros are here, and we'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. This battle is practically won if the knights have arrived. The knights of Seros! Not now! If I don't kill at least one of them, Brad, I'm finished! Watch out! They're gonna make a last-ditch effort to rush our position.
this. Four ranks and capture those bandits. Quickly now. This is where you die, dogs! Do you feel that power? Maybe you can channel it like you did in the other battle. to perish here. I'm afraid we must spare no mercy for you. Stop jumping around! It makes me already! Yeah, it's usually standard practice to dodge the guy who's trying to kill you. Never should have taken this job! Is it over? <laughs> Gotta keep aiming higher. I won't let myself stop here. Hang on, you're seriously the Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and the heir to the Alliance? Yes, and as the three of us are now in your debt, I think formal introductions are in order. My name is Edelgard von Hressfeld, Princess of the Adrestian Empire. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And I'm Claude Von Regan, grandson of the leader of the Leicester Alliance. Things looked grim there for a moment. Thanks to you, we put those bandits to flight. Bit of a miracle we ran into you out there, but hey, I'll take it. Oh, I'm sure the three of you could have handled the situation just fine without me. No need for false humility. We'd likely have perished if not for your help. Well, aren't they an unlikely trio? I wonder why those bandits were after them. Still, it's no concern of ours. We have our own plans to attend to. Now, collect your pay and be off before they get a wild idea and ask you to join them. Say, while I have you here... Do you know where I can find Ramire Village? I took a wrong turn somewhere along the way. I'm looking for a band of hardened mercenaries who follow a man named Gerald. I hear rumors that's where they're camped. Actually, Remire might just be the village we've been looking for, too. Did that ring a bell, Edelgard? I don't remember hearing anything about Mercs, but... The name sounds correct, at least. Gerald's too smart to get smoked out by a bunch of rumors, but they're all I've got at the moment. In any case, we won't find our own two feet in all this dark. We should return to camp and get our bearings before... Hello there, house leaders. Hello, brave mercenary. We've mopped up what's left of those rascals, so what say we return to camp? And I insist you accompany us, good mercenary. Who, me? You heard the man. We'll wait out the night together and make for the village in the morning. It's a great plan, especially if you want to get paid, as we're a tiny bit short on pocket change at the moment. 
Yes. And those mercenaries you're looking for? Gerald's band, was it? They may be in Ramire village tonight, but there's no telling when they'll move on. If you come back to our camp, we have maps that may help you get one step ahead of them. This is clearly the wisest course of action, not to mention that I would enjoy conversing with you further. But of course, the choice is yours. Ugh, why can't things ever be simple? All right, but just for the night. Perfect. Then might I borrow you for a moment after we reach camp? There is a matter we must speak about. Nothing alarming, I promise you. Right then, so off we go. But, um, if I may, did I hear you mention a Gerald earlier? Yes, do you know him? He heads up a pretty elite band of mercenaries, so I imagine his name has spread all over Fodlin by now. Mercenaries, is it? No. No, it can't be him. Can it? Well, I'll just have to meet this Gerald myself. After I've seen my duties through, of course. After all, if I don't finish my assigned tasks, I'm mission the point. Get it? Missing? Mission? Come now, this is good stuff! <laughs> That's our Aloise. Come on, let's get moving before he really gets going. I'm honest. That's concerning. What say you? Let's see. Oh, hello there. Please be listening. You have my thanks. Speaking of which... You're kidding! No. By the way... How about this? Yeah. <laughs> 
your interest flatters me. But uh, perhaps I'll have thought of a topic when... Concerning, if I'm honest, my sincere apologies for asking this of you. I know you're heading for Ramire Village in order to find Gerald's mercenaries, but well, perhaps you might consider changing your mind and accompanying us to Garrig Mark Monastery instead. And why would I do that, exactly? Because you've done us a great service, and we don't have the means in camp to properly reward you. At the monastery, however, we can repay your kindness in full. Also, between you and me, this evening's turn of events was quite the embarrassment for the church. We allowed students of the Officers' Academy out of our sight, and house leaders of great political consequence at that. And then they cross swords with bandits. If word got out, well, let's just say it would sit poorly with everyone. So you see why we must ensure you are well compensated. Also, there may be some papers for you to sign, perhaps in blood. This sounds more like hush money than a reward. Yes, that's exactly what I told the fool knight who suggested it. Me, I'd just as soon send you on your way, but I fear I'm obligated to escort you back. Anyway, the whole thing will be much easier if you simply agree to come along. Just as a formality, of course. I think that was a threat. And here I thought he was a big softy. Well, what do you think? Garrick Mock is in the opposite direction of where we need to be, but this man seems rather set on having us accompany them. I guess I'm not opposed to helping out a little more. I'll come with you to the monastery, but I'm not staying a single minute longer than I have to. Bless you, my friend. What a noble soul you are. I'd say you saved my bacon, but that would be utterly hammy. Alois, has anyone ever told you that you're... Don't. Some truths are simply too painful to bear. While I'm no expert, I fear the poor man's heart couldn't handle the shock. Hmm? Told me what? Told you how dashing you are in that armor! <laughs> Not just any man can pull off that look. Ah, you like it? Wonderful. I admit, I've received no small share of positive comments on it. There's a grand story behind every last ding and dent. 
Enough to keep me talking for a week. Why, take this one here. We heard you'll be joining us at Garrick Mock. Perhaps somewhat unwillingly, I might add? I know this wasn't in your plans, but if it lets us get to know each other better, perhaps it will prove worth it in the end. Unwilling or not, we've got a long road ahead, so let's try to keep the mood light. I hesitate to ask this considering you're only here because of us, but... Well, are you sure about this decision? The last thing we want is to delay you from your own business. The Knights may seem unwilling to bend, but it's not as if you have no say in the matter. No one gets a say when they're up against a squadron of Knights. No, I suppose not. Apologies again for dragging you into this mess. Yes, yes, that's quite enough chatter. Let's save our energy for the road. To the monastery! Listen, I know this one's on me. I'm the one who roped you into coming back to camp, after all. But I'll find a way to make it up to you, I promise. Thanks, Claude. I know you will. Hey! Hurry up back there or we'll leave you behind! You know you've had a busy day when you rub shoulders with the heirs to the Empire, the Kingdom, and the Alliance. I think they're a fascinating group of people myself, but what do you make of them? a laid-back kind of guy who doesn't really strike me as noble, and I mean that in a good way. Something tells me he's gonna be easy to work with. It feels like Dimitri's always checking in on me every chance he gets. He'll definitely make a good king. The kind who looks after his people. Seems like Edelgard thinks high enough of me. She's got this elegant air about her, but somehow doesn't hold any disdain for mercenaries. <laughs> of course, you only pick up on their rosy qualities. You really are a delight. Have I told you that lately? Still, you'd better pick up the pace before you vex these people any further. Prologue. Three houses. Deep in the forest, the mercenary meets a trio of youths, each a student at Gehrig Mach's Officers Academy and a leader of one of the school's three houses. Striking down the bandit chief who attacked the students brings undue attention to the mercenary, who soon arrives at the hallowed gates of Gehrig Mach. And with that, may I present the mercenary I spoke of. Greetings. My name is Rhea, and I am the Archbishop of the Church of Seros. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for rescuing our students. I'm just glad I could help. Such modesty is not required around me. Your actions were truly commendable. 
However, the reason we summoned you here was not simply to express our gratitude. We have a proposal for you. One made on behalf of the church itself. What kind of proposal? Someone told you of the officer's academy here at the monastery, yes? We would have you join this academy as a student. You what? Though you are a mercenary, I understand you are not currently beholden to any one particular employer. Also, the students you rescued are close to your own age. Your life could be greatly enriched here. Or she's heard about our power and wants to keep us on a short leash. And yet she's taking it almost as a given that we'll accept. It's infuriating. I need to get stronger if I'm gonna do what I need to. If your fancy school can really make that happen, consider me interested. The Knights of Seros, as well as many other powerful warriors, pass daily through the gates of this hallowed monastery. If strength is what you are after, we can certainly provide it in spades. They've really talked us into a corner here. I think I see where this is going. All right, I'm in. A wise decision. We will do all we can to ensure you do not regret it. I believe you will go far. If I may, permit me to tell you a bit more about the school itself. The Academy is divided into three houses and draws in the most promising young talents from every corner of Fodlan. Some are noble-born, while others spring from more humble roots. But within these walls, all are treated as equals. We ask our prospects to spend a year living under the same dormitory roof, so they can challenge each other, work hard, and grow together. Each of our houses corresponds to one of Fodlin's three regions. Edelgard leads the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Dimitri leads the Blue Lion House, home to students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And Claude leads the Golden Deer House, for students from the Leicester Alliance. We could select a house for you ourselves, but as all of this was our idea, perhaps we should leave this decision to you. You are something of a special case, after all. So I can join any house I want? Yes, you have simply to name it. So you wish to join Claude's Golden Deer? Yep, that's the one. I'm sure of it. May you build wonderful and lasting friendships in your new house. Well then, with that taken care of, it's time to decide which of us will supervise which house. Yes, it turns out we just underwent a last-minute roster change. I guess you two haven't met. This is Professor Yuritsa, our weapons instructor. Hello. I can already tell I'm gonna learn a lot from you. Will you now? Do my ears deceive me? Or is that curiosity I hear in your voice, Professor Yuritsa? I thought all the houses were the same to you. Perhaps you should be in charge of our new student's house, hmm? I don't care. You decide. 
12, you'll certainly hear no objections from me. Professor Manuela, you and I can take charge of the remaining houses. What? It's decided already? I was at least expecting a fight. Maybe some hair pulling? And as for you, my mysterious new student, I look forward to getting to know you much, much better throughout the year. The gall of these people making decisions for you. It's enough to make one's head spin. Oh, right. In any case, I'm looking forward to learning from you, Professor Yuritsa. I'll inform you of our first mission soon. Sorry, what mission? Oh, did we fail to mention that? Each month, every house in the Academy is given a mission entailing some form of service to the Church. Sorry, but do I have this right? This person just enrolled at the Academy and now they have become a member of our house? Yeah, that's pretty much the deal. Right, Professor Yuritsa? Yes. I love how you can bump into someone in the woods one night and suddenly you're living under the same roof the next. I knew we had a thing. Anyway, welcome to the Golden Deer House, where the only rule is make your own rules. Kidding, of course. Or am I? The point is, you're one of us now. And it's very good to have you here. Well, the term's only just started, the church must really like you if they're letting you join partway through. You have to be pretty skilled to get that kind of treatment. Well, I believe it. I mean, how many people our age can cut it as full-fledged mercenaries? I definitely see why the church was interested, and I can't wait to train together. And I can't wait to eat together! Or work out! You wanna go work out? Seriously, you need to put some muscles on that coat rack you call a body. Bulk up! Like me! I don't think these strange shirt buttons look is for everybody. Any more meat on those bones, and our friend here would be downright scary. Our new friend's build is perfect as is. Wouldn't you agree, Marianne? Oh, well, I don't... Uh... Okay, okay, everyone just loosen up. And hey, it's not like we haven't met already, so just sit back and make yourself at home. I would not take after Claude if I were you, new blood. Honestly, if you wish your time here to be fruitful, you would do well to follow my lead. Um, I think Professor Yuritsa wants to say something. Remember your mission? Every word, Professor. We are to crush what remains of the Iron King's thieves who attacked our camp. And with their boss Costas out of the picture, the runts that are left should be easy pickings. They can't be anything too special if we're getting them as homework. Good. Prepare yourself. Of course, Professor. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, so that whole Yuritsa up and vanishing thing? Best to just get used to it. Well, I for one am excited to show off my skills by beating up on some bandits. I don't suppose I could be excused, or... Um... We're all in this together, Marianne. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Besides, the newbie here already sent them packing once, so this should be easy peasy. We should proceed with caution. 
So if we keep our heads on straight, there's nothing to be afraid of. Now that's what a battle-hardened mercenary should sound like. Maybe I'll just hang out in the back and let you handle all the hacky slashy stuff. But you're a melee... You know what? Never mind. Anyway, we're all participating in this mission. Church's rules. I didn't make them, so the only thing we can do is work together. And we're gonna lean pretty heavy on our mercenary buddy here. Hope that's okay. Just make sure I get the credit at the end. There you are, Yuritsa. I have word from the Knights. It is time. Yes. The bandits have fled north into the canyon bordering Count Rose land in the kingdom. But the knights have cut off their escape, and now stand ready to provide whatever support the students may require. We'll leave at once. I needn't remind you this is the first real battle for some of our charges. I trust you will keep them safe. Though I likely do not need to worry with an old hand like you at their side. No, you don't. You there. It's time for the mission. Gather the others. About time we saw some action. Lost sight of them? Ashamed to admit it, but yes. It's possible someone magicked the bandits away. But why go to that kind of trouble for a handful of highwaymen scum? So be it. We'll follow the blood scent. Right, of course. We'll follow... Wait, what? We're leaving. Everyone, follow me! Hey, uh, Professor Yuritsa, are you... And away he goes. Guess we better get after him. We're still on a mission, after all. Pathetic. Slow down, Professor. You're making it hard for us to... Oh. Well, this is something. What happened to all these people? Dead by my hand. Are these the bandits we have been chasing? Who knows? It's not like you can tell they're bandits just from looking at them. Well, Professor, are they the villains we're searching for? Most likely. I caught them trying to escape to that fortress. Okay, does it have to be so dark and spooky? It must be their hideout if they were trying to shelter there. Then let's quit standing around and seize the place. Might even find some nice gear in the process. I concur. As nobles, we would be remiss to let the people suffer at the hands of these rapscallions one minute longer. So you want to go in there? Yeah, you know what? I think I'll stay here and make sure the outside is safe. Right, Marianne? You with me? Of course. We don't belong in a dangerous place like that. We'll be heroes if we manage to take out an entire bandit outpost. This is the kind of stuff I live for. Yeah! Let me at him! I'll crack those guys like walnuts! It seems like opinions are split. But the thing is, we're still on a mission. 
And that means we leave the decision-making to Professor Yuritsa. And I say, enter the fortress. Dispatch any bandits you find. But... There's no cause for concern. I see no signs of life. There can't be more than a handful, or none at all. I'd be happy with the nun option. My grandpa told me empty forts have ghosts in them. Ghosts? I mean, uh, how childish. Everyone knows there's no such thing. We're hunting bandits, not banshees, so can we please just get this over with? My Scythia, don't tell me that you're... You know what? Probably better not to ask. You folks must be pretty confident, considering how much you're horsing around. Just be careful some brute doesn't take you by surprise. Yeah, we'll just need to watch each other's backs. Eyes peeled, everyone. We'll put the bandits to rout. Follow me. Huh? Hey, we got intruders! Come on, they're just bandits. That doesn't mean we can go easy on them. Let's do this. to kill to open the gate. This place is bigger than I thought. Split up. Sorry. I'm sorry. Ugh, this place is crawling with bandits. Don't hate me for performing my noble duty. Ah, uh, these folks aren't so tough. Sure, 
chest. We can get it open if we have a key. Ugh, I was all ready to grab a nice haul from that chest. And now those intruders are all over the thing. Ooh, did I hear the faint jingle of a key? higher. Why we have to storm an enemy hideout? 
This is a rather impressive setup for a den of thieves. Goddess, no trigger with poor souls. Care of seizing the hideout. So, what's next? Search the basement. Something is amiss. Hey, there's a prisoner down here. She looks like an academy student? to rescue me hey are you all right who did this to you actually never mind let's get you out of here before any of that thank you for saving me don't let the girl escape or Kranya will make us wish we were dead it's not safe here we must take the girl and run Targeting that academy student. We have to protect her. <laughs> folks are, but they sure aren't some run-of-the-mill bandits. We must dispatch these villains post-haste and save that student. Now's our chance to give him the slip. More bandits that eluded us. Leave none alive. Strong. Looks like the coast is clear. All right, folks, let's get a move on. Sorry I'm slowing you down. The world is still a little wobbly at the moment. She's not sticking around. I got this. 
this. Looks like the coast is clear. All right, folks, let's get a move on. about to murder you or you know don't it's her so be it kill her Looks like some sort of giant beast. Attack in force. You'll never defeat it alone. All the numbers in the world won't save you. I am here to aid you. This beast, keep attacking. Demonic beast? Impossible! Talus isn't going to like this at all. You'll pay for this. You'll all pay! Talk about strange customers. Well, at least we beat her. That's what counts. I'm still just a delicate flower, you know. I won't let myself stop here. Gotta keep aiming higher. This'll help me break new boundaries. 
Another trick up the old sleeve. I am capable of so much more. I bet this will come in handy. We should be safe here for the time being. I'm well acquainted with Professor Yuritsa, but the rest of you are this year's fresh-faced golden deer, I presume? Nothing but the freshest. Also, is it just me, or are you wearing our uniform? And how do you know Professor Yuritsa? Do you go to the Officer's Academy? She's one of last year's students. A Black Eagle. Which would make you our senior? But what were you doing here in a bandit fortress? Well, I was just on the verge of graduation last year when I was kidnapped by the strangest people. In truth, I thought I'd never breathe fresh air again. Thank you for coming when you did. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Monica Von Ox, eldest daughter of the Empire's Baron Ox. I think I understand. This all began when the Knights lost sight of the bandits and you gave chase. Afterward, you entered a suspicious fortress and rescued a missing student. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll be sure to smooth things over for you once we're back. Sounds good. But, uh, why are you even here, Alois? Because the Knights sent for help after you left them behind. Did you expect anything different? Not that I'm trying to lay blame at your feet. I know you were following Professor Yuritsa's lead, so I think everyone involved can head home knowing they did just swell. For as you know, all swell that ends swell... Ugh. Still, I find this a rather grave turn of events. To think the same bandits who attacked our charges were behind another student's abduction. Hmm? I never said I was kidnapped by bandits. You... you didn't? Now that you mention it, some of the folks in that fortress weren't exactly dressed in the typical bandit fineries. What if we're dealing with a way savvier organization than we think, and the bandits just answer to them? I can't say for sure, but they didn't really strike me as your run-of-the-mill bandits. I mean, that Kranya woman who slipped away seemed far stronger than you'd expect from common cutthroats. You're on the right path. Perhaps I should just tell you who kidnapped me, seeing as I already know. What? Why didn't you mention this earlier? Everyone was busy speculating, so it was difficult to cut in. What do you know, child? Out with it. Well, the one who kidnapped me was Tomas the Librarian. I'm certain of it. I could tell from his gait and how he held his staff. I suppose he isn't the simple scholar you think he is. Tomas? Impossible! But Tomas has been at Garrig Mach even longer than I have. I don't want to believe it, but based on what you say, we've no choice but to investigate. But Sir Alois... Be on guard. If Tomas is in league with Kranya, he is dangerous. Very well. I will quietly report the matter to Lady Rhea and leave the decision in her hands. Not a word of this to anyone. Is that clear? Well, now things are getting interesting. Honestly, did not see this coming. 
So what do you make of this Kranya? Why do you think she was at the fortress? You seemed preoccupied with her during the battle. She a friend of yours? Sadly, I wouldn't know. My memory is but a shadow at this point. Gone! Vanished! Lost! I remember meeting you. But before that, nothing at all. And yet, the moment I saw her, I was struck with the most inexplicable feeling. I couldn't tell you if it was revulsion or affection. It was simply pure emotion. And here I thought I had it tough. Are you worried about me? How adorable! Oh, but I do love that about you. And that's why Rhea has decided to take Tomas into custody. When he gets back, that is. Seems he's been away from the monastery for a bit. Custody? They ought to end his life on the spot. The Churl's enmity towards the church is plain for all to see. All the more reason to keep him alive and question him. You really think he's working alone? This all comes from that Monica girl we rescued, right? Still, I guess if Lady Rhea believes her... So who is this Tomas guy anyway? You say he works in the library? Yes, and he's always bent over backward to help me find whatever book I'm searching for. He's a kind man. And the last person you'd ever expect to stab you in the back. Well, you won't make it too far as an evildoer if you can't pull the wool over people's eyes. I can't believe someone that nasty was working right here under our noses. But wait, what if the dining hall lady is a traitor too? I'll never be able to ask for seconds again. As if anything would stop you from asking for seconds. Besides, what kind of villain sets their sights on someone's lunch? I think we can give the poor dining hall lady the benefit of the doubt, right? For now, we should assume everyone could be an enemy. There's no telling where their spies might be lurking. Well, unless you're proposing we stop eating altogether, we'd best muster a little faith. I'd really like to stop talking about the dining hall lady now, please. So, is it safe to assume Tomas hired the bandits that tried to kill us? No one has proven he was the mastermind behind it all, but there is no doubt he was involved. You're awfully quiet, Marianne. Is everything okay? Oh, it's just... I suppose I'm worried about what this all means. Hey, I understand. These walls were supposed to keep trouble out. But now everything feels very different. Wait, do you hear that outside? Are they ready at the gates? Yes, sir. Every exit is covered. Well, well. It sounds like Tomas has returned. I don't know why I know this, but you need to get out there, and quickly!
I think he's here. I'll be back. But let's do it together. Wait, what are we doing? There he is! Hmm? <laughs> that man down there. Lady Rhea wants to speak with you. I suggest you accept. <laughs> this doddering persona of mine will benefit me no further. What is this? Prologue. The Battle for the Locket. Upon his return to Garrig Mach, the humble Tomas shapeships and flees, and not even the knights of Ceres's most concerted efforts can track down the erstwhile librarian. Though Claude is quite intrigued by the dark developments at his school, an urgent message soon arrives from House Goneril at the eastern edge of the Leicester Alliance. Well, that was certainly an unexpected conclusion to the whole Tomas saga. Thanks to his shape-shifting ability, he slipped free of the knights and escaped. Shape-shifting. Yes, that's what I said. Also, I know what you want to say next. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. Are you in league with him, Arval? Where did these powers come from? If I am in league with him, no one has informed me. All I have is you, my dear partner in destiny. Still, I saw what you saw. Clearly, we don't have a monopoly on shapeshifting. And now that everyone knows about Tomas, some of them must have connected the dots back to me. At least they've had the grace to keep it to themselves. It's because they trust you. Hold on, someone's coming. Hey there. Got a second? Something wrong? There's no nice way to dance around this. Are you sure you don't know, Tomas? I already told you I don't. Okay, okay. It's not like I suspect you or anything. But it does make me wonder where you're from originally. Who knows? Maybe there's some mysterious clan out there with shape-shifting powers. And maybe they banished you when you were little and you don't remember it. It's possible, right? Well, my early years are pretty hazy. But while it's not completely impossible... Hey, I'm sorry. You know what? Don't worry about it. I only ask because people here also see me as something of an outsider. Guess I got a little ahead of myself. Maybe I was just excited to meet a kindred spirit. You're an outsider? 
There you are, Claude. You must come quickly. We have an urgent message from House Goneril. Sure thing. Why don't you tag along? I'm not sure what House Goneril wants, but it can't be good. I can't believe the Almiran army is invading. And with the biggest army since Fodlin's locket was completed. My brother's preparing to intercept them, but he's outnumbered big time and needs all the help he can get. House Regan stands ready. But we can't expect my grandfather to lead an army, so I guess it falls to me. I wish I knew what the other Alliance lords will do, but there's no time to call a round table. I have no doubt my father has already leapt into action. Though I will likely be the one who ends up on the front lines. House Ordelia is close, so I like to think we've already sent reinforcements. Sadly, I expect little help to come from my adoptive father. I'm sorry. That's fine. I actually have a different favor to ask Margrave Edmund, but we can chat about it later. I don't understand the reason for this sudden act of aggression. If this really is the biggest army since Fodlin's locket was completed, that's a century's worth of battles. Maybe the Almirans figured it's now or never, since the Empire and Kingdom are wrapped up in their own problems. I mean, we're pretty much the only students left around here now. Yeah, I heard something about a coup in Enbar and a revolt in Ferdiad. Both serious problems that don't directly affect the Alliance. And even if word of Fodlin's troubles has reached the Almirans, it doesn't follow that they'd start a war. Well, that's assuming they have all the information, which seems unlikely. If all they heard was something vague, like war in the capitals, it might make them more likely to invade. Do you truly think so? Or maybe we could ask the knights to provide some troops. Their strength would be invaluable. Wishful thinking. But you do get one knight. Me. The name's Shamir. I'm a knight of Saros. The bulk of the knights were dispatched earlier to track down Tomas. And the rest of us fanned out to the kingdom and imperial capitals. Yeah, I was worried they might have been deployed already. How did we end up with you? The church may not be able to lend you an army, but they won't turn a blind eye. I'm here because I'm the best woman for the job. My arrows will make short work of Almiran wyvern riders. So we get to see what the knight's best archer can do with the bow? I won't say no to that. Hope we can count on you as well? It certainly sounds more interesting than staying here and twiddling our thumbs. And besides, who knows what will become of the Academy in the meantime. Sure thing. I'm in.
Do this. What to do? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Oh boy. <sighs> Absolutely. Of course. I'm counting on you. Let's see. You there. In actuality, speaking of... Right on. Fascinating.
How's that? I was thinking. How's that? I gave you an order, Nadir. Yes, sir. You sure did. Then explain why we remain on this side of the mountain, staring at that wretched fortress! Did I not command you to gather enough soldiers to push through? Yes, and I did all that. We actually have the numbers advantage by some margin. But the enemy commander Holst is a born leader, and his men are bound to fight like demons. I'm sorry. Are you suggesting some cowardly savage is a superior commander to me? The next king of Almyra? Not at all, not at all. Merely pointing out that storming a fortress tends to be one of those time-consuming sort of things. In which case, the current state of affairs proves to be exceedingly fortunate for you. As we speak, the Imperial household fights to hold power against the Empire's nobility, while the whole kingdom bickers over who should wear the crown. There will be no reinforcements here. Take whatever time you need. I admire that optimism. Uh, but, as I recall, the king instructed us not to attack yet. That was before the situation changed. Father will hold me in great esteem for this. Mark my words. Also, Khalid has been absent for a good while now. And I wager he's plotting some mischief. But once I've conquered Fodlan, it won't matter what folly he attempts. The throne will be mine! Prince Shahid! Enemy reinforcements have been spotted! What? <laughs> no matter. There can't be more than a scattering of them. Send in what's left of our troops and crush them all! Thank you for traveling all the way to Fodlid's Locket. I'm Holst Sigisvald Goneril, in command of defense here. Claude Von Regan. I've heard a lot about you over the years. We're here to help you hold the locket in whatever small way we can. Ah, House Regan's new scion. I've heard a fair bit about you as well. I'm impressed you were able to scrape together this many troops in so short a time. Duke Oswald has clearly chosen his heir wisely. Also, I can't express my gratitude enough at seeing so many young people offering to serve. Whoa! Look at the muscles on you! Your regiment must be epic! Oh, I'm Raphael Kirsten, by the way. Nice to meet you, Holst. Do not address him so casually, you oaf. This is General Holst. One of the Alliance's finest and bravest warriors. Well met, General. My father sends his warmest regards. So we're gonna fight alongside a famous general? Huh. No pressure there. 
Yes, I, I know when I'm out of my league, and I am clearly way out on this one. Maybe I should go back to the monastery. And I as well. Enough, both of you. This is no time to be cowards. Our enemy's just over there. Are you going to hide like field mice, or will you find some courage and fight? Did you get some bad rations there or something, friend? It's not like you to be this quiet. Just saving my energy. <laughs> Your classmates are a real colorful bunch, Hilda. I like them. Thanks, Holst. But if we're all done catching up, we might want to focus on the enemy army that's headed right for us. Oh, so they are. The sight of your forces clearly lit a fire beneath them. Fortunately, the locket is impregnable, which they'll soon discover the hard way. Good luck, all. I'm counting on you. To battle! at all. Today we pry open the gates to Volwood. Are you ready to send these troublemakers packing? Because I have a plan that'll do just that. Theoretically, I'm all ears. But first, we need to do something about those soldiers closing in on us. Everyone buckle up. This stronghold is crucial to our defenses, and we can't let it fall. Central approach is crawling with enemy soldiers. We'll start by capturing the strongholds to the north and south. The drawbridges here can only be lowered from one side, so we should make sure it's safe by taking any strongholds in the vicinity. Can I ask you to hold the center holst? You're the only one of us who can do it. I'm here to help. Make use of me. Sigiswald Goneril has entered the fray. General Holst, we need help! Hurry! We have to save our knights!
Well, if it isn't Nadir the Unstoppable, are you ready to settle the score? For the last time, it's Nadir the Undefeated, and I know you're doing that on purpose. <laughs> Fools, a lot of them. Strike them from this land! Now is the time to stand our ground! I'm souring on this whole affair, but if it's a fight you want, I'm your man! Sounds like Nadair could probably be coaxed off the battlefield. I mean, unless you really want to have a track at him. That was close. My thanks for your aid. value your neck, I suggest you stay far away from me. And here I was just thinking I'd give my fighting skill a test. If it... We can't handle you, we'll come up with another way. Hit them hard and fast. Is this where? I meet my end. We're too late. I'm so sorry, everyone. We'll avenge you. Travel all without exception. You'll have to retire that overblown title of yours. Then the dead, the undefeated, 
because I know when it's smart to run. And I'll come back to end you when I damn well feel like it. to go. Mind our flying units. Use arrows. You can count on me. I've got you covered. Let's try this. I'd better back them up. All right. Here I go. I better back them up. Yeah, let's do this. I'll back you up. I think this will go well. I'll provide backup. I think this will go well. I'll provide backup. Got it. Whoa, I should go help. That's definitely working. Keep it up. Ha! <laughs> 
Those troops at the center don't exactly have the highest morale. Once they realize we've got them flanked... Who told the Central Force they could retreat? All remaining troops, attack! You see? Things are looking up already. Now we just have to go after their general. They're scattering like leaves. Thought strategies really are kind of up. Nobles must be strong. Are you holding our troops yeah, back? Right. Deploy them now! All of them! You gotta keep aiming high. is in danger. Follow Prince Shaheen! We'll trample those brutes into the dust from which they came! We have more enemies incoming! Hit them hard and fast! Don't worry, I won't slack off. You can count on me. I'll do my best. All right, here I go. There's nothing these muscles can't do. I think this will go well.
prepared to see this through. Surrounded. Brilliantly played, young Regan. They got behind us? Those impudent worms! Fine then. I'll put them in the ground myself! Stand in the presence of Shahid the Great, next king of Almira. I'm not gonna die here. You fight well for a pack of brutes. Challenge me! I would make my escape if I were you. You're not gonna like what comes next. You swine! Turn that loathsome face from my sight! In every way, you remind me of my wretch of a brother! 
I will be the end of you one day. I promise you that! <sighs> Shouldn't we go after him? Nah. At the end of the day, he's still royalty. The last thing we need is some army tromping in here trying to avenge him, you know? I'm still just a delicate flower, you know. I feel like I've grown. Still bulking up. My efforts are paying off. I won't let myself stop here. Gotta keep aiming higher. Hey, a new power! Alright! Not gonna forget this. This is suitable. Glad I haven't been wasting my time. We did it! We won! We held the locket! Honestly, I expected more of a struggle. For some reason, the Almirans just didn't have the fight in them. If they were serious about beating us, we probably would have found our backs against the wall. What matters is that we're safe, and no one from our house was killed. Thanks to Holst! He was out there taking on thousands of soldiers all by himself! I don't think it was actually thousands, although I agree, it was an impressive sight. I can see why he's Lester's greatest warrior. I only hope I can reach that kind of skill someday. If you're setting the bar at Holst, I guess I'd better aim high too. I mean, being a fellow Merc and all. Kinda nuts to think the Almiran Prince personally led their army against us. From what I've heard, he's vying with the others for the throne. That kind of motive makes people dangerous. We'd best stay on our toes. You think? I felt like we did a pretty good job of slamming the door in his face just now. If it's a throne he's after, we just kicked him a little further away from it. An embarrassing loss like this ought to deter any other siblings from trying the same stunt. If they're reasonable people, which is a big if, you should trade places with my brother for a while and see how fun it is to keep chasing the Almirans away. You know what? You're right. I'm sorry. Huh? We let House Goneril do all the heavy lifting, which isn't fair, and it isn't how you lead. On behalf of my house, I apologize. Oh, right! I forgot you're technically representing your grandfather here. You came through with speedy reinforcements, and for that, I'm grateful. Also, Margrave Edmund showed me your budget for restorations to the locket. I hear you personally intervened to make sure the funds were secure. Very thorough, and very helpful. 
Between that and your impressive tact on the battlefield, the Alliance will be in good hands once you take the reins. Hey, it's an honor to be accepted by a man as valiant as you. I think we'll get along just fine. That we will. Glad to hear it. So, now that the battle's over... I want to feast until I burst. Come on, let's all go toast to Lester's bright future. Ooh, I'm so stuffed I can barely move. That host sure knows how to throw a party. That's for sure. The nobles would treat us to a meal every now and then back when I was a merc. It was never anything like this. Thanks for arranging it, um, Lord Future Leader. Come on, don't call me that. We're just classmates. Actually, you know what? I take that back. We can do better than classmates. What do you mean? Once we're done with the Officers Academy, I was thinking you might join me in Leicester for a while. I may have Regan blood, but I grew up about as far from nobility as you can get. I tend to get the full, who's this upstart treatment around Leicester, so I could use someone reliable at my side. You're hunting a band of mercenaries, right? Well, maybe we can leverage my family's influence to track them down. And then you can do whatever it is you need to do. Seems like a solid offer. Better than staying pent up in the academy, at any rate. What I need to do is repay what's owed. And yours is just the kind of offer I've been looking for. So I'm in. Thanks. <laughs> Glad to have you. As the representative leader of the Alliance, Claude narrowly defends Fodlin's locket from Prince Shahid and the Omirans. But the future of the Alliance remains in jeopardy. Meanwhile, a power struggle breaks out in the capital of the Adrestian Empire. And a revolt over the right of succession takes root in the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Realizing the troubles of Fodlin will fall squarely on her young student's shoulders, Archbishop Rhea closes the Officers' Academy and permits her charges to return home. <laughs>